This woman is so cruel. In pursuit of true love, poisoned father-in-law, killed her husband, covered S stepson, finally inherited a large inheritance. Catherine came from a poor family. The family has food and clothing for a meal, sold her to the manor. Be their daughter-in-law. Catherine is full of expectations for the rich life. Unexpectedly, her husband doesn't love her at all. I just gave her the identity of Mrs. Wedding night. Catherine at her husband's order. Tea drop your clothes and stand against the wall. All night. She didn't go to bed. The husband didn't touch her either. Catherine the ignorant girl. Become Lady Macbeth. The maid puts on her waist every morning. Prop up a huge skirt. Put on a gorgeous skirt. Catherine just needs to be in the house every day. Sit up straight. Because her husband doesn't like her to run outside. At a dinner. Catherine leaves early. I was severely reprimanded by my father-in-law. But my husband really didn't agree to go home once. But ordered Catherine. Take off your clothes and stand against the wall. He would rather solve the needs by himself. Don't want to touch her. Catherine suffered a great humiliation. The next day the husband and father-in-law got up and went out of town. Catherine is left alone at home. She seems to be free again. Ran into the mountain fields. Listen to the sound of the wind whistling in your ears. Catherine who took a nap this day. I found the maid was missing. Then in the warehouse. There is the noise of a man. She followed the voice and took a look. The men hang up the close maids. She used her husband's usual tone. Standing against the wall is not allowed to laugh. Let them put down the maid. Stand against the wall. Never thought of a groom named Saba. Dare to molest her mistress. Catherine ran away in a panic. She went back to the room and sat in front of the window. Looking at the direction of the warehouse. She tossed and slept all night. Seba's figure in my mind. She will meet Seba on purpose. When I heard him calling myself. The corners of the mouth can't help but rise. Someone knocked on Catherine's door late at night. Seba. He couldn't help kissing her forcibly. Catherine started pushing him away. I couldn't help but kissed it later. Just like that, something indescribable happened to them. The maid opened the door the next day. See the clothes scattered on the ground. And Catherine, naked. I can't believe my eyes. And Catherine laughed. After all in that era. Few women sleep at the same time. Catherine and Seba became Q people. Have tasted the joy of mind and body. She seems to have changed. Smile on face. No longer as silent as before. The good times won't last long. Catherine wants to play the role of Mrs. Sitting at home as a vase every day. Wear complicated clothes. Facing the father-in-law's rules and making things difficult. And the maid had already bumped into Catherine's JQ. She told her father-in-law. A man who dares to cuckold his son. So angry that the father-in-law ordered Siba to be beaten. Catherine interceded for Siba. Got a slap in the face. For my love. Catherine can't care so much. She put tea mushrooms in her father-in-law's breakfast. After the father-in-law entered the room. Block a chair at the door. Soon there was the sound of a broken plate in the room. And father-in-law's painful roar. Catherine ignored his plea. She had breakfast with the maid. Listening to the sound inside it disappears a little bit. The maid closed her eyes unbearably. Everyone will be the father-in-laws. It boils down to an accident. The maid was also because of this accident. Lost the ability to speak. Without the stumbling block of father-in-law. Catherine can be with Siba unscrupulously. She sees him as the male owner of the manor. She was stuck in this love and couldn't help herself. Soon my husband went home. I found two pillows on the bed. Catherine explained. This is for you. She obeyed her husband as usual. Don't let him have any doubts. But the matter between her and Siba has reached his ears. Husband insulted Catherine mercilessly. He will send Siba out of the manor. And Catherine will be in this manor. Play the role of my wife. Is it going to live back to the previous life? Woman in front of her husband. Make friends with Q. This is Catherine's humiliation to her husband. An angry husband. Beat up Siba. Watching the two get together. Catherine had to pick up the stick. Beat her husband hard. Before dawn. She and Siba will have her husband's S body. Buried in the forest. No one knows when's husband is back anyway. She just killed her husband's horse. Faked that he disappeared on the way. No one can stop Catherine now. She ignored the rules of the manor. Let Siba become a male host. This is the life she yearns for. The husband's illegitimate child came to the door. With husband's will. He is about to become the new owner of the manor. This means Catherine. Unable to get the property of the manor. In order to hide. Siba can only move back to the servant's room. Just now. Catherine is pregnant. Stepson only disappear. She and Siba's children can inherit the manor. Everyone can't see her stepson on this day. Siba found him in front of the waterfall. If you push him down. Isn't it a good opportunity. Siba still can't bear it. Brought him back home with his body frozen. But he was humiliated by his stepson and grandmother. A servant is gesticulating here. The insulted Siba prepares to pack up and leave. Catherine arrived after hearing the news. 
encouraging him to solve the stepson with himself. They partnered to cover their stepson with a blanket. Grandma insisted on calling the police to find out the culprit. Catherine could get away with it. K. Saiba's conscience is disturbed. Told the truth. Catherine's heart is as gray. I didn't expect that even Siba would betray him. Reminiscent of seeing him walking with the maid before. So she put the charges on them. Wrong them too have a personal affair. After being discovered by Catherine. Intend to frame her. Finally Siba and the maid were exiled. Catherine with a big belly. Living alone in the manor. Catherine's life. Ruined by this bad marriage. She did all the bad things. Only for the unfortunate life. Sees the last trace of happiness. She did so much. But got nothing. In the end she sat alone in the hall. No cry no words. Only the endless sadness in my heart.